adopts. Right. So if a horse goes up for adoption three times without being adopted, it can then be sold for slaughter. Mm. Wow. So one of the programs that really helps these horses as well as the men is this prison training program. Um, and that's what, that's what my um, narrative is about, is, this, is how horses can have an impact on people's lives. Um, and it's sort of a redemption story for not only for this boy, but also, also the horses. So what states or prisons have adopted this program? So far, um, there's the one in Nevada, which is car in Carson City, which is the one that I focused on. Right. Um, and then, to be honest, I don't know um, for sure the other states. I think there's one in Colorado, um, and that's all I know for sure. Is there a website that you guys have developed about the film for people who want to start to become aware of the project and, and maybe help in some way? Yeah. The the um, actually you can check us out on Facebook. It's right. Facebook slash Wild at Heart Movie dot com. Wild at Heart Movie. Movie.com. Okay. And there, yeah, you can get information, follow along about the, the documentary, um, and learn more about it that way. When is this slated to be released? We're going to release it about the same time that we release the, um, the narrative, which is called Cowboy, um, which is December 2013. So about a year from now. Mm -hmm. How has the response been here at this year's American Film Market for what you're working on? Fantastic. Really, really fantastic. Um, you know, I read somewhere a few years back that says that at least one point in everybody's lives and everybody in this country at one point or another has